And God is on. Welcome to the band of the hand of the Son of Man, the Loyal Royal, the Guild of the Spirit Phil. Welcome to God on, everybody. It's great to have you here today, and uh, God bless you. Here at God on, we're talking about what God says on practical issues that affect us every day. And we've been studying this last month, health, healing, and longevity. Our theme scripture is John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. I am the way of health. I am the truth that sets you free, which is healing. And I am the life, which is Holy Spirit inspired and motivated longevity. But you're going to finish the race and you're going to finish with victory and in victory and fulfillment. So we're believing for that. And then the other verse that we've been focusing on is Mark 5, 34. Jesus said to the woman with the issue of blood, he said, go in peace, shalom, nothing missing, nothing broken, everything <clears throat> blessed in a stress-free environment, in peace with the ability to break out mightily in prosperity and flourish. Is that all right? Go in the shalom of God, Go in all of these things. So in other words, keep on living this lifestyle. Go in the peace of God that passes understanding. For your faith has made you whole. Not a part, not partially well, but whole. Body, soul, and spirit. So we're claiming those two scriptures this month. Hey, I've been uh, out on my four-wheeler here and uh, riding fence now. There's a difference between riding the fence and riding fence, okay? Now, <clears throat> when you ride this fence, this electric fence, you're not gonna, it's gonna be a very shocking situation for you if you ride this fence, okay? So you probably don't wanna ride this fence. Well, I'm telling you that I haven't been riding the fence, I've been riding fence, which means I've been checking out the fence and riding down the fence, seeing if everything's in order and everything's uh, connected and nothing's down no no part of the fence is open so out on the four-wheeler sometimes we ride four-wheelers instead of horses that's okay isn't it well all right here we are so uh, you'll notice that there's four cycles on this four-wheeler here there's four cycles right we call them wheels we call them tires all right we're believing that God is going to bless us in cycles. And we're gonna be talking about that a little bit more later on. Um, health, we're, we're talking about health today. You know, we've been talking about uh, health, healing, and longevity in different days uh, in our study. Today, we're focusing on health. Health comes in discovery cycles. Discovery cycles. Every day is a revolution. Just like these, these wheels revolve and go round and round. Cycles will transport you to a desired destiny or destination. All right, what is the calling of God, the purpose for your life? You've got to have a transport for it. And it's called the cycles of every day. So I'm believing that God every day, I'm believing for God every day for you and I, to make at least three steps forward towards our destination. Cycle things, keep doing them over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until it becomes second nature. <clears throat> that will take us to the place that God has called us to for fulfillment. The transports, four transports, four cycles, okay? Daily cycles. God works in circles. He's not in a box. He works in circles. He's the God of the cycle. Daily cycles. All right? So <clears throat> when I'm thinking about music, think about a scale. There's a scale of seven things. All right? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, 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 do. That's an octave. Okay? Same note. So in other words, there's seven notes in between the beginning note and the last note, which is the repetition of the first note, just one octave higher on the scale. All right? So it's a cycle of seven. It's a cycle of seven. God created music to give us an idea. He also created a cycle of seven in, in the week, seven days in the week. All right? 
And so what is he saying? We, we need to be revolving. We need to be revolving. Be, people say, oh, we need to be evolving. How about we need to be revolving? Okay? Revolving, getting back to the circle, getting back to the cycle of what God's called us to do. Now, health in discovery cycles. Let's talk about it. All right, Proverbs 25, 2, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings to search out a matter. Proverbs 25, 2, kings find a way. You're called to the loyal royal of God. So in other words, kings are going to find a way to accomplish what God has called us to accomplish. All right, the kingly anointing that's in you. Jesus is the king of kings because he is the king of kings all right god has called you to royalty and one of the ways to establish royalty is the royalty of god to bring the kingdom down thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven one of the ways to do that is realize there's a cycle of seven every day let's claim three things taking us forward most people are just maintainers. They're not claimers. They're maintainers. They don't claim anything. They don't lay a hold of anything. They just maintain what they've got. I've heard a great statement. You know, in, in all the great moves of God, first, there are the risk takers. Secondly, there are the caretakers. And lastly, in the third generation, there's the undertakers. Okay? Why? Because the first generation were risk takers. They were people of faith. They were people that put themselves in a position which forced them to have to hear from God and to make a forward revolution every day in a cycle of health, okay? If water is not cycling, it's stagnant. It becomes a swamp. Don't allow your life to become stagnant. Don't be a swamp. Be a flowing river, all right? Okay, number two, keep on asking, keep on seeking, keep on knocking. Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. And literally in Greek, in Koine Greek, it literally says, keep on asking. Keep on seeking. Keep on knocking. And the door will keep on being open to you. So if we're going to continue in the cycles, we've got to keep on interviewing we've got to keep on discovering through the search we've got to keep on knocking insistently believing that there will be an answer all right every day do those three things all right number three keep seeking the lord and you shall not lack proverbs 34 10 i'm talking about discovery in order to discover you have to seek the search is involved in the discovery. The lions grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Any good thing. Any good thing. Every good thing is from above. From the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. They keep coming down. It literally says in James, they keep coming down. They keep coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Number four. Life is the hunt. How you like that, Hunter? Life is the hunt. Amos 5, 4. <clears throat> this is what the Lord says to Israel. Seek me and live. That's pretty short and sweet. You want to keep living? You want to keep healthy? You want to keep young? You want to keep being motivated? You want to keep being renewed? Seek the Lord. Keep seeking the Lord. Hunt the Lord's will. <clears throat> Ask, seek, knock, search, discover God. You think you know God? You don't know anything about God yet. You've not seen anything yet. Dig a little bit deeper. Number five, strength comes from God's face. First Chronicles 16, 11, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. When we, when we seek his hand, we're praising him. When we seek his face, we're worshiping him and we're saying, Lord, I don't want just what you do. I want to know what you think. I want your mind. I don't want just your actions. I don't want you to continually have to do stuff for me. I want to do things with you. I want to seek your face. Tell me what's on your mind. We claim, we claim these cycles, cycles of health. 
We claim it right now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. I come into agreement and I, I set my faith in agreement with you today for health in discovery cycles. The cycles will take you to your destiny. The cycles every day. Father, in the name of Jesus, if we can conquer a day, we can conquer our life. Lord, help us to make those cycles taking us. We're, we're, we're pursuing our vision. We're pursuing our dream. We're pursuing our destiny. We're pursuing our calling. Father, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, give us the tactics and the strategies to carry that out every day in Jesus' name. And God is on the cycles of health.